Welcome back for another battle report. Uh, this time I'm playing Nils and his Ogre Kingdoms. 12.50 and I got my Wemper accounts. Uh, Nils got this big ass cannon. Uh, Mornfang cavalry. Unit of bulls with a fire breather and a ordinary wizard. Butcher. And a gorger, right? Uh, who's coming in from the side. I got can raves and banshee. Ghouls. Skeletons with my vampire and uh, grave guards. Uh, Nils is currently going first. Let's see what happens at the uh, top of turn one. End of uh, top of turn one. Nils moved forward with his entire army. Uh, he tossed a fireball at my grave guard, killing three of them. His cannon fired at my skeletons, uh, but it bound. LA, oh, did not bounce, but landed here and bounced off the table. Uh, so let's see what I can do at the bottom of turn one. Bottom of turn one, I moved forward with my forces uh, and cast uh, Invocation of Nehek, managing to raise back my free uh, Grave Guard. And that's just about it. Let's see what Nils will do at uh, top of turn two. Top of turn two. Uh, Nils uh, forgot his magic face, uh, fired his cannon and bounced over my grave guards. Uh, charged in with his Mornfangs with some scary shit banner. Uh, I lost combat by 14, so just my champion and uh, my vampire is still standing. Let's see what I can do at uh, bottom of two. Bottom of turn two, I charged in with my ghouls and my grave guards. Maneuvered my raves over here. Uh, for magic, I managed to raise two new skeletons. Uh, shooting, I shouted one over to death. Uh, close combat, I killed one Mornfang, one combat, he fled, I ran him over. Uh, but my vampire is currently <laughs> without a unit. Uh, let's see what Nils can do at the top of turn 3. <laughs> top of turn 3. Uh, Nils shot in with his uh, bulls against my ghouls. Uh, his Gordier entered play. The, for Medic, he got the Flaming Sword of Blaha. And uh, his uh, cannon tried to hit my um, vampire but missed with one inch, a half inch. Over here, I managed to do uh, three wounds to Ogons but uh, lost combat by 13, so just um, five ghouls remaining. <coughs> Let's see what I can do at the uh, top of bottom of turn three. Bottom of turn three, top of bottom of turn two, three, three. Uh, I charged in with my can raves and my vampire. My vampire did one wound on his fire breather. Uh, for shooting, my banshee did not manage to do any wound with his first scream, and my raised uh, in medic phase got uh, dispelled, barely. Uh, for close combat, I said I did one wound. Uh, and he killed my five ghouls, so I lost combat and my vampire and the braves died. Uh, see what Nils will do at uh, top of four. End of turn five. Uh, Nils shot into my grave guards, uh, killed a couple. Uh, I lost combat. Uh, it's not very many casualties actually. A couple, as you can see. For my turn, I managed my lead chip test for the crumble. Uh, struck back and uh, actually won combat by four, running him over. Uh, so let's see what Nils can do at the uh, top of uh, six. Uh, end of turn five. I. Uh, uh, Nils charged my uh, to, 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 to grave guards with his gorger. Uh, I made three wounds uh, and he killed two or something. My turn, I crumbled four, uh, but killed his gorger and maneuvered towards his uh, gun. Let's see what Nils will do at uh, turn six. End of turn six. Uh, Nils maneuvered his uh, cannon and fired grape shot at my uh, 11 grave guards, killing all but four. And for my turn, I crumble by rolling a 10. So, Nils wins this game. Uh, thank you for watching.